One of the most common questions I get asked is, how do you become a full stack developer in 2020? There is so much to learn, so many different paths you can take. How do you know which path or which direction is right for you? I have been a software developer for about three and a half, four years now. My first job as a developer was a full stack developer. I was mainly doing backend, working with Node, building different APIs, MySQL, different things like that. But I definitely was touching the front end a little bit as well. The further I grew in my career, the more I was doing both, especially because I was at a startup. It was really in demand that I needed to be able to do the full stack from beginning to end, front to back, and everything in between. Now that I'm at a larger company, I mainly focus on whatever the client needs at the time. So right now I'm doing mostly front end, but the next project I'm doing could be back end. So although I'm not working on the full stack of one project, I still do vary from front end to back end uh, and really whatever needs to be done. When I first started learning how to code and knew I wanted to become a full stack developer and as someone who didn't go the traditional route of computer science, but rather self-taught and then end up going to a bootcamp, I definitely felt overwhelmed at first looking at all the different things there are to learn and where to focus, how to know which language to focus on, should I focus on front end, back end? It can be very overwhelming. Before I share with you exactly what a full stack developer is and also how to become one, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more tech and coding videos that can help you in your career. Okay, first things first, we need to know exactly what is a full stack developer and also what is the difference between front end and back end development? A full stack web developer is a person who can develop both client and server software. This means you can program a browser, a server, and a database. Okay, now that we know what a full stack developer is, let's quickly break down what a front end developer is and a back end. A front-end developer manages everything that users visually see first in the browser or application. Front-end developers are responsible for the look and feel of a site. This means a back-end developer does the following. Back-end development refers to the server-side development, the behind-the-scenes activities that happen when performing any action on a website. This can be logging into your account or purchasing a watch from, say, an online store. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of moving parts to both the front end and back end and becoming a full stack developer means you're going to have to know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. And it's not an easy task. One of the things that I commonly see when people are starting out is they get so excited that they want to learn everything at once, which is definitely not the right approach. And this brings me to, well, where should you start? If you are a true beginner and have no coding experience, start with the basics, start with HTML and CSS. Yes, I know this isn't very exciting, but you need to have a strong foundation before you can make the next steps. Next, once you have a strong grasp on HTML and CSS, my personal recommendation would be to move to JavaScript. Some people might recommend Python, others might recommend a different language. It really varies, but I think JavaScript is a really good language that you can start with. Also, I'll make sure to link a lot of great resources down below for learning purposes that you can learn these different things that I'm talking about. Once you've mastered the basics of JavaScript, you can really branch out into many different frameworks and libraries around that. For example, you can learn React, Vue, Angular, the list goes on. So once you feel you have mastered JavaScript, move on to a different library or framework. Now, even though there isn't a right or wrong, whether you learn front-end or back-end development first, I think a lot of people that are visual learners will find learning front-end first is a great way to go, or I did anyways, because then you can actually see what you are building come alive on screen. And a lot of people, especially beginners learning something, need that extra motivation to feel like, oh my gosh, what I'm coding, I can actually see and it's coming to life. Okay, so now you have mastered HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and picked a framework, whatever your choice. What I like to do when I was picking a framework initially when I was learning was I would go on job postings and see what programming language, what frameworks were really in demand, uh, as my end goal was to get a job, of course. So knowing what languages or frameworks are in demand is another great kind of side tip to help you when you are learning, ensuring that you are on the right track. The great thing about using JavaScript as your first language to learn is once you've mastered using it in the front end side of things, you can also use it in the back end side of things with Node. Node is a common runtime that you will find most environments have as an option, and it's a great place to start for the back end side of things. For me, I know when I was kind of starting out, one of my first things I was doing was learning Node, and then I was building different APIs um, and just kind of connecting everything together, which was a really fun part. Okay, so I just gave you a lot of jam-packed information about paths to take and decisions to make for your full stack developer career. However, I want to make another point that it really is dependent on what way you want to go. I'm kind of doing these examples with JavaScript, but Python is another high in demand language that you could learn, especially for data science, machine learning, different things like that. The most important thing I think of all though is that you find something and stick with it. I see way too many beginners getting excited about something and then starting to work on it only to find something else that's really cool and exciting and switch completely over. 
only to result in them not learning a lot about anything, but just knowing a kind of a little bit about everything. And when you're starting out, you really want to master the fundamentals and grow on top of that. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions or other videos you would like to see. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all soon. Thanks everyone. Thank you.